story of Claire Murray will be known to many around the country. The outcry in the press and online about her being given a second liver transplant after she had abused the first one by using heroin again was loud and ugly. Shireen Narayanan's film, Wild Butterfly, aims to give a non-judgmental view of the life of this unfortunate young woman. Ashley Zinka reenacts Claire, and her parents, Mother Val and Father Michael, tell how they began at the age of 12 to lose the daughter they knew. Their outgoing daughter became shut in on herself. She was bullied at school, but it emerged that a more traumatic event occurred when she was away at an Ursula Frayne Catholic school camp. Misdiagnosed at various times, Claire descended into a spiraling world of alcohol and drugs at a very early age. She had two children by the age of 20. This blistering account of the Murray's ongoing attempts to save their daughter is a truly sad story, compounded by the press and the public outcry. Ashley Zinka, who looks remarkably like Claire, conveys the turmoil within only too well. It's a story of abuse, of self-abuse, but in fact, it's a story well worth telling. Statistics at the end of the film are appalling. Perhaps Narayanan pushes the dramatic buttons a bit too hard on occasions, but she's come up with an excellent narrative, a finely put together film that deserves to be seen. Yes, it's a shocking story. I wasn't familiar with it at all, but it really is quite an appalling look, particularly at the role that social media and the tabloid press uh, it's so ugly, isn't it? Is it is extraordinarily ugly, the, the attacks on this young woman. But I'm not sure if I agree with you about it being not judgmental. It's, I think, very clear from the start that we're very much on Claire and the family's side in this. And the, I must say, I did get a little tired of the overwrought slow motion and, uh, you know... Well, that's, was, that's what I mean. I yeah, think she too, tweaks the drama too, too on much, far too much. a little bit. Yeah, and the close-ups of tears and all the rest of it. There was just it could have done with less of that and more of a, more, a forensic kind of procedural look at what it's went on. It's pretty forensic, though. Mm. I mean, yeah, I thought it was really a lot of investigation. You know, yeah, the the mother and the father, I thought, were really brave to yeah. take yeah. part in this film. It's a shocking story, particularly at the role that the hospital plays yeah. in in the liver transplant and so on, and the cover-ups that that have gone on. Well, we, we can be quite frank about it. I mean, she was raped when she was away at this camp. Yeah. Uh, she didn't want to go through the procedure of charging this guy because she would have had to have been yeah. up in court. And I, it, it's awful that, you know, that, that deterrent is there for young women when this guy is most probably going to be at this mm. school camp forever and, you know, regularly raping young mm. girls, having this sort of traumatic effect that, really lasts all their lives. Mm. So, look, I, I actually thought this was pretty... I, the insight it gave me into how shit happens is, mm. I thought, really terrific. I'd give this four stars. I was less overwhelmed than you were, but I just didn't like the juxtaposition of the interviews with the... You know, the over, as I say, the over, overwrought slow motion sort of uh, idyllic nature of the rest of the filmmaking. So I'm going to give it three and a half. OK. Everyone makes mistakes, but my kids don't deserve not to have me around. Why didn't I see it? I am so sorry.